Hi guys and welcome back to JavaScript Playground. In this video, we will learn how to remove and replace HTML elements. Say when someone clicks on this update first item button, it updates the first list element. Now to replace an element node, we have another method called replace child. It accepts two arguments. First, the new element and second, the element which needs to be replaced. All right, so, so let's get started. So coming here, let's copy this ID. Let's select this button. So btn update, so document.getElementById. Let's pass the ID here. Let's add an event listener because we're talking about button click. So add event listener, we can simply do click. Let's create an anonymous function here. Let's add an alert here just to verify whether this event handler is working or not. Say update linked. Let's save it coming here. And when I click on this button, it shows me update linked. Coming back to our code. Let's remove this. Now what we want to do is we want to make use of the replace child property. So first we need to select this first element of the list. So let's do that dynamically. So every time someone clicks on this button, select the first element and perform operations on that. So let's create a variable, say first element. So we need the first element from the main list. So we already have it selected here. So let's say list and this DOM elements, they give us access to a property, which gives us the first child. So let's say first element child. And now we have access to the first element of the list. And what we want to do is replace this element by the newly created HTML element. So come in here. So this code, it creates the new element. So let's just cut this, create a new function. Let's say create new node. Let's paste it here. And let's return the new list element. So what it does is it creates a new element of type list. It creates a text node based on whatever data is stored in this current input value variable. It appends that text node to the new list element, it adds an ID to that element and then it returns the element back to where the function was called from. So we can call this function here, say var new list element is equal to the name of the function is create new node. Similarly, we can use the same function here as well. So var new list element and create new node. So now we have access to both the elements. So what we want to do is replace this first element by new list element in the main list. So list dot replace child. Again, this is a DOM element method. So that's where we are doing selected element dot method. So in our case, we want to replace an element inside this main list. So that's why list.replace child. And as I told earlier, this replace child, it accepts two arguments. First, the newly created list, newly created element. So in our case, new list element. And second, which element needs to be replaced. So first element, let's save it. So coming here, let's say Apple, let's hit this button. And as you can see, the first element is updated. Similarly, if you say banana and we click this add list item, it adds the list item at the last. So this verifies our code is working and this function is working as expected. All right, now let's try removing the first element on this remove first item button click. So come in here. First, let's select this button so remove item, 
let's create a variable here. So btm remove document.get element by id. Let's pass the id here. So again, we're talking about a click. So let's add an event listener. So btm remove dot add event listener. Let's say click. Let's create an anonymous function here. Let's trigger an alert just to verify whether this handler is working properly or not. So let's say remove clicked. Let's save it. Let's click on this button and it shows us an alert. So far, so good. Let's remove this alert. So what we want to do is remove the first element. Now to remove an element node, we have another method called remove child. It accepts one argument, which is the element node that needs to be removed. So in this case, we need to remove the first element. So let's dynamically select it. So let's paste this here. So list element child. So this gives us the first child, which is an HTML element. Now this remove child method is also a part of DOM element. So list dot remove child. And as I mentioned, it just accepts one argument, which is the element node that needs to be removed. So let's say first element. Let's save it. Coming here. Let's click on this button. And as you can see, first list item is gone. When we click again, the second list item is also gone. And when I click again, nothing happens because all the items are already gone. Let's add some more items, say apple, banana, mango, pineapple, strawberry, blueberry, blackberry, etc, etc. So when I click on this remove first button, it removes the first one. Again, it removes the first one. We keep clicking and it keeps removing the first element from the list. Now, a little homework for you guys. When your user clicks on the delete item, remove that specific list item. Say for example, if user clicks on this delete item, remove list item two. Or if the user clicks on the first one, remove this list item. Also, when someone creates a new list item, add this delete icon for that as well. Give it a try. Try it in CodePen and post your CodePen URL in the, in the comment section below. That's all for today, guys. 